These South African surgeons had to call in reinforcements to carry out a very delicate procedure, a penis transplant. The operation took nine hours, a daring and unprecedented feat that meant that three months after his operation, the patient, a young 21-year-old man belonging to the Bantu Hossa ethnic group, is doing well. He can use his organ to urinate and even father children. We've performed a penis transplantation on a young man who lost his penis uh, during ritual circumcision. He had a very bad complication and his penis became gangrenous. This happened at the age of 18 and he's now 21 years old. The penis was taken from a donor who had passed away in a high-risk procedure that's illegal in France. Technically, a penis transplant would be quite simple to carry out and French surgeons have the skills to do it. It's not legal in France for ethical reasons. The patient must undergo very heavy forms of treatment that lower his immune system for the rest of his life and expose him to infections and even cancer. If penis transplants are legalised in France, surgeons may risk opening themselves up to unintended consequences, operations not only for medical reasons, but also aesthetic.